Hello everyone, Ryusta to here. I wanted to take some time to share something very special with you all. Don't Starve Together is a game with a ton of variety and content to offer, all of which can be experienced through many different characters in the game and the different play styles they provide. That being said, the game can be somewhat daunting to newer players and even those who are just trying to brush up on each character's diverse mechanics. As such, I wanted to help everyone by creating an in-depth guide that goes into the myriad strengths and weaknesses of each character as well as the various different ways you might consider using them as you start a new game. Now, we have a lot to cover, so let's begin with Wilson. Wilson is the baseline character that has recently gotten a rework which gives him incredibly potent abilities as his insight grows. So, when starting out as Wilson, what you want to do is find the savanna region as you collect grass and twigs. Once you have all of those and get all of the needed materials, go ahead and craft a beefalo bell and a saddle. Then tame a beefalo. This is very key as it helps add variety to Wilson's playstyle and will help you with your next step, which is to go into a cave and rush to the ruins. Using this strategy, you should be able to take full advantage of Wilson's new traits and abilities. Willow. Now, Willow is quite a bit different from Wilson, and as such will need a slightly different approach. This little firebug is immune to fires, which will prove to be a big help as you start the game searching for grass, twigs, and other assorted raw materials. Once you have found those materials, what you want to do is craft a beefalo bell and a saddle, then find a beefalo in the nearest savanna. Tame the beefalo, and then find a cave entrance. From there, you want to make a beeline to the ruins. This will get you all set for the rest of the game once you clear them. Wolfgang Wolfgang is an absolute powerhouse character that benefits from really tough playstyles. Because Wolfgang is able to fight enemies so well, he is incredibly well suited to finding a savanna on his journey. After assembling some grass and twigs, Wolfgang can use a bell and a saddle to tame a beefalo. With a beefalo tamed, find an entrance to some caves, then try to find the ruins. Because Wolfgang is such a hardy, powerful character, he's up to the challenging battles he'll encounter there. Wendy Wendy is a very unique character that does less damage with her attacks, but is able to become a force to be reckoned with by utilizing her one true companion to aid her. Because some bonds transcend even death, Wendy must make full use of her truest friend and family, a beefalo. Now go ahead and gather some grass and twigs, assemble a bell and saddle, and then find a beefalo at the savanna and tame that thing. Once you have a beefalo, it's time to make a base. A base is an important part of any adventure, as it allows you to make preparations for anything that comes. In order to make a base, First you need to find a cave and head towards the ruins. By going to the ruins you'll be able to gather all the supplies you need for whatever you're supposed to do afterward. WX78 Now you might think that with WX's use of gears and other advanced ingredients, I might be encouraging you to just rush into the ruins and collect all of those. Absolutely not. I believe in unique, unorthodox strategies based on the character I'm using. So what you want to do instead is gather some grass and twigs as you find the raw materials needed to craft a bell and a saddle, then tame a beefalo. Then you can rush the ruins. Wickerbottom In order to craft Wickerbottom's books, you'll want to find all the best materials. And the best way of doing that would be to tame a beefalo. Once you tame a beefalo, you can rush into the ruins for a supply run. You could probably do something after that, I don't know. Woody! Because you can't ride a beefalo during a full moon, you might need to stay in one place when each full moon happens. After it subsides, you can use your tamed beefalo to rush the ruins. Wes. Um, no. Drawing a blank on this one. Uh, I'll get back to you. Maxwell! There is only one thing that can be said for Maxwell. He needs beefalo armor on his butt, so if you're not doing that, then what the hell are you even doing on this game? When you start out, get some grass and twigs, then make a bell and saddle so you can tame a beefalo as quickly as possible so you're not worried about taking damage as you rush the ruins. Wigfred! 
Tame a beefalo and then kill all its friends. You'll need the extra food available as you rush the ruins. Weber. Weber is a unique character that is often misunderstood. Because his spider friends fall off somewhat against various raid bosses, you'll want to be strategic on which types of spiders you recruit and why. Weber starts off with some incredible tools and might be one of the best characters to really hit the ground running with. Because of his excellent health and hunger, he is able to survive fairly impressively. Weber also has one of the least restrictive diets in the game, which can be incredibly valuable for keeping on the go. The fact that Weber can eat uncooked meat and monster meat with no penalty means he doesn't have to waste a lot of time cooking in the early game. This gives him more flexibility for exploring and expanding his repertoire of potential spider types to have as allies. Early on, you might want to try to upgrade a spider home to level 3 and get a spider queen to come out of it over time once it becomes overgrown. Once the queen is out, make sure she's engaged in combat as soon as possible. This can be done by either aggroing something like a pigman onto the web or doing it the hard way by attacking her yourself. Instead of letting the queen die, however, wait for her to spawn a nurse spider. These are some of the most valuable spiders Weber can get, as they make his day-to-day -day health concerns a thing of the past. Wait, sorry, that's not right. What I meant to say is you should tame a beefalo and then rush the ruins on it. Winona! I never played Winona. But from what I've been able to glean from my research on the character, the best strategy would be to find a beefalo. Once you do, make sure you have plenty of grass and twigs, then make a saddle and a bell so you can tame the beefalo. This will make it viable for Winona to rush to ruins with it. Warly! Warly is able to cook powerful food dishes that will become a great asset as you start your journey by finding a beefalo and taming it so you can rush the ruins. Walter! Walter has a dog named Woby, which he can use to find a beefalo and rush the ruins with it. On a beefalo, Walter is able to ignore his main weaknesses, so that's really the only thing you ever want to do with him. He has a slingshot, but that's only really good after you rush the ruins and get real ammo for it. After that, you can change things up from fighting on top of a beefalo to shooting your slingshot from the top of a beefalo. Wartox! Wartox can teleport around, which makes him incredibly good at finding the savannah so he can tame a beefalo and rush the ruins. Wormwood! Wormwood is a gardener, so the best strategy for him is to tame a beefalo and rush the ruins. Wart! Tame beefalo and rush ruins! Wanda! Beefalo ruins! Beefalo ruins! Beefalo ruins! Beefalo ruins!